So should you copy shapes or use features? Coming up. Hey, I'm Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. Thanks for checking out the video. This is a question that popped up on the channel. I'm making a table. I have sketched the tabletop and I'm gonna make a sketch for the legs. Is it a better practice to sketch those three legs or is it just better to extrude one leg and copy it three times? So this is a great question and it comes back to do you sketch everything out or do you do everything in features? And generally, I like to use features over sketches and I use symmetry whenever I can. So his example is a good one. Let's say it's symmetrical. Let's look at how you would build it. Let's just build an oversimplified one. <laughs> All right, so we start the sketch and we sketch one of the legs. Do we go back and in that sketch, create an intelligent sketch with four other squares or rectangles in the corners? If there is any symmetry, in the table, go ahead and use mirroring. So let's construct two mirror planes. I'll do midplane and select the planes. I'll use the select other by holding my left clicker and finding the face I care about. It throws a plane in for me. Boom, select that face. Got it. All right, so I have two, my two midplanes and I'm going to mirror about these planes. So I'll select the component or body. We can get into that in a second on what we want it to be. And there we have them. Okay, that's one way to do this. This is all separate body. If your goal is to create a drawing and you want to ensure that all four legs are in fact the same, a safer way to do this would be to go back before I started mirroring and create this component as, create a component out of that body. The good thing with doing components, at least when I slap it into a drawing and create a parts list, then I can understand the quantities and we're talking about the same thing. Okay, so why did I mirror? Why not just pattern this with a feature pattern or even do it in the sketch? Okay, so we'll create a pattern and do it. It's a rectangular pattern in this case. It's the only real option. Select the object, the direction, get the values correct. And I'd get the values where I need them. But here's the tricky part with, with the pattern. Now I could go in and create an intelligent link from this dimension back to the original sketch, maybe perhaps off of the original rectangle. But in this case, I'd say that's way too much work. I think uh, if it is symmetrical, I'm gonna use a pattern and drive off of that. Now, if it's only halfway symmetrical, then I, again, I would do two different mirrors, I think, in that case, making it easier. Thanks for watching. Check out the next video.